So in this problem, we need to verify the following. So let us begin. We'll start our verification from the left hand side of the problem. So here we have in the numerator the sum of sine functions. So let's do one thing. So let's rearrange the term. So we'll first add sine of 7a. To it, we're going to add sine of angle a. So this is going to be one sum. And then we're going to take the remaining two terms as the sum of sine 5a and sine 3a. The reason will become evident as we pro progress. This will be divided by. Similarly, in the denominator, we have the sum of cosine terms. So what we'll do? We will take cosine of 7a and add it to cosine of angle a. This is going to serve as the first term. And then we have the remaining terms. So we get a cosine of 5a added to cosine of angle 3a. The trick behind this, because we know that 7a plus a, that's going to be 8a. So 5a plus 3a, that's going to be 8a. So we are making sure that the sum remains the same, sum of the angle. Similarly, in the denominator, we see 7a plus a will be equals to 5a plus 3a. Now, why we are doing this? Because we will be able to use the transformation formula here. So let's state the transformation formula. So if we have the sum of two sine function, to transform as a product of a sine and a cosine function. And if we have the sum of two cosine function, so they transform into a product of two cosine functions. We're going to apply these two transformation formula. So let's begin. So in the first, for the first one, sine 7a plus sine a, we're going to treat 7a as alpha and a as beta. Now we have chosen 7a and a in such a way such that alpha, the magnitude of angle alpha is greater than magnitude of beta. So we get two times cosine, uh, two times sine of angle. So we have seven a plus a. That's alpha plus beta, which is going to be eight a. So we have eight a over two. Multiply to cosine of the difference of the two angles, seven a minus a. So that's going to be six a divided by two. Then we go to the next sum, sine five a plus sine three a. So that will be two times sine of angle. So we have five a plus three a. That's going to be eight a. Eight a over two. Multiply to cosine of angle, the difference, 5a minus 3a, so that's going to be 2a over 2. Whole divided by, now in the denominator, we have the sum of two cosine function. So we have 2 times cosine of alpha plus beta, so we'll treat alpha as 7a and beta as a. So this will be 8a over 2, multiply to cosine of angle, 6a over 2. Plus, we have 2 times cosine of angle, 8a over 2 multiply to cosine of angle uh, 5a minus 3 so that's 2a so we have 2a over 2 let's further simplify we will going we will get 2 times sine of the angle 4a multiplied to cosine of angle 3a plus 2 times sine of angle 4a multiplied to cosine of angle a all divided by 2 times cosine of angle 4a times cosine of angle 3a plus 2 times cosine of angle 4a times cosine of angle a. Now, in the numerator, we'll see that 2 times sine of angle 4a, 2 times sine of angle 4a, that's going to be a common factor. So let's take it as the common factor. So 2 times sine of angle 4a will then get multiply to cosine of angle 3a plus cosine of angle a. Coming to the denominator, we see that we have 2 times cosine of 4a as the common factor in both the two terms. So we take 2 times cosine of angle 4a, so this will get multiplied to cosine of angle 3a plus cosine of angle a. Now luckily, cosine of 3a plus cosine of a, that's a factor common to both the numerator and the denominator, so we can factor that out. We can also factor out 2, and we are now left with the ratio sine of 4a to that of cosine of angle 4a. Now here clearly both the two function, the trig function, sine and cosine have the same angle 4a. And we know that the ratio of sine to that of cosine is the tangent function. So we're going to get tangent of 4a. And this is going to be the expression on the right hand side. Hence, we have successfully showed that the left hand side of our problem is equals to the right hand side with a value of tangent of 4a.